Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you are wanting. You are appreciating the contrast of your time and place. It's a good thing, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? It is a good thing because it brings you to a point of clarity about what you desire and that matters a lot doesn't it because you are a creator powerful creator you've come into this physical body into this physical time and place specifically wanting the contrast that surrounds you to help you to identify your personal preferences and desires and when you do that whether you understand it or not you emanate this vibrational preference. It's a desire in vibrational form. And that desire has summoning power. And in a universe that is vibrational and is attraction based, your summoning power or your summoning clarity really matters a lot because when that rock of desire emanates from you, it becomes its own point of attraction. As you came into this physical body from what you want to call source, I think that's as good of description as any, as you come from that source energy, only a part of you comes into this physical body. Your consciousness is so ongoing and so eternal that only part of you comes into this physical body. And the larger part of you remains non-physically focused. Sometimes you call that part of you your soul. We like that title. We also like inner being. It's the non-physical part of you. That longevity part, that eternal part, that part that benefits by all that you live. So as you are in this physical body, sifting through variety and contrast, knowing what you don't want and therefore knowing what you do want, that understanding of what you do want is what is most understood and held and known and focused upon by your inner being. And so over time in this body and over lifetimes in physical form, you've created who you really are. There is this non-physical being who you are, who has a powerful point of attraction. So since law of attraction is responding to everything universally, that means that law of attraction is responding to this already having become and in a constant state of becoming you. It's like this. You were non-physical, you came into this body, in this body you sift and sort and decide, launch rockets of desire, which your inner being becomes and holds steady each new evolutionary idea that you choose from life experience. So this expansion, really the evolution of all species, is about that. So the reason that we are wanting to clarify that with you is because you've got to understand that there is this non-physical part of you who is pure positive energy, who has gleaned from so much that you have lived and who stands in totality of all that you have become, even with the last requests that you've launched while you're here in this physical body. And that non-physical part of you is vibrationally playing with you, or you could say it's a backdrop against which you are having your physical experience and it is the reason those two perspectives this attitude that you have right here and now in your physical body and the attitude that your inner being has right now in this moment while you're here in this physical body is what equals the two vibrational balanced counterparts that is the reason that you ever feel any emotion at all when you are focused upon someone or something and you are feeling enormous appreciation, you've been acknowledging positive aspects and you're focused upon that. You are in such vibrational accord with your inner being who always and only ever has that thought about someone.
that in that alignment, there is a power. But if you are fixated on something you think they've done wrong or remembering something that didn't go well between you, as you focus there, since your inner being is not doing that, you cause a vibrational discord, which is what negative emotion is. Now those are very rudimentary explanations of your emotions because you are in fact an incredibly sophisticated vibrational being. You translate vibration with your eyes and that's why you see and you translate vibration with your ears and that's why you hear fingertips, tongue, your nose, your physical senses are all about translating vibration and your solar plexus that's where you primarily are translating this emotional vibration that's where you really get to feel how on point you are in any moment in time with who you really are or how off the mark you might be a little bit by choosing something now here's the most important thing about all this that we just said to you it's important that you understand that you are allowed by all that is and we want you to allow yourself to have a negative moment in time. You've got to be able to explore contrast in order to even know what you want. And sometimes in the exploration of contrast, you have some negative emotion as you focus upon what is not wanted. And we've been calling that because you are a creator and we would like it and you would like it too if you were a deliberate creator. We want you to understand that in deliberate creation, in deliberate focus, there is so much satisfaction. In fact, only in being deliberate is there satisfaction. And satisfaction is always, hear this, we've not said it to you this clearly before. When you are in a moment of satisfaction, whether it's a peaceful calm or whether it's a off the wall enthusiasm or passion, when you are in a moment of satisfaction, it always means there is no vibrational discord between you and the way your inner being is viewing this moment in time with you. We want you to understand, we want you to believe, we want you to accept, we want you to have full knowledge that your inner being is focused with you in every moment in time. But sometimes you are vibrationally out of sync enough that you don't know it. So you are therefore not in what we want to call the receiving mode, meaning the receiving mode of receiving the fullness of who you are to experience this moment in time. When you open your valve, so to speak, or your circuit or whatever you want to metaphorically call this connection between you and you oh the clarity is delicious and your point of attraction is increased in ways that we can't even begin to explain we cannot provide enough vibrational clarity to Esther for her to find a word that is equivalent to the leverage of power that you accomplish when you work in sync with your source.